Swin and Town Ladies boss Steve Robertson joins me now on your Sports Swin. And Steve lost four 0 against Spurs today at home, but it was 0 0 at half time, and it, it was a grand effort by your your troops to kind of dig in and and frustrate Spurs, which, which you've done. So you, you know, the result a little bit flatters the the wayside there. Yeah, a little bit. I think we we had a ten minute period where we just got a little bit sloppy, and they and they took their chances. To be fair, they had probably four chances and scored four goals. Um, like I said, we, the game plan worked. We frustrated them for as long as we could and made it difficult. Um, I felt we had a little bit on the counter-attack. We, we did build up and we had some half chances. Um, we probably should have gone 1-0 up on the run of things. But uh, that's football and we're a little bit low on confidence at the moment. But as a performance in the group, that was spot on. I can't ask for any more from the girls. They're playing against a team at the top of this division who want to get out of this division. And they put a proper graft in. It's just important that they take that into the next game against the teams who aren't necessarily trying to get out of this division. We put the same performance and graft and hard work into that one and we'll get the results that way. Yeah, you know, you mentioned that you lost to, to Portsmouth the other week. Re really disappointing. Now, if you'd have played like that, could, could that have been a different result? And that's one of the fixtures you'd be looking to get points out of, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. They were all really disappointed, as well as myself. And the performance against Portsmouth was nowhere near good enough. Um, and we shouldn't be getting beaten by that from a team in and around us. Uh, having said that, I got a reaction today, which is what I needed. So they've shown me they're capable of doing it. So they have to do it now for two or three weeks in a row and two or three games in a row. And we've, we've changed how we want to play a little bit. And we, it's taken us a long time to work out what system's going to suit us and how we're going to play it. And I was really impressed today that we went from the system we started with into a new system and they took it on straight away. And we still we, we threw the extra player up and we went as a 3-5-2. And the girls have, have adapted to that now and they can play that. And we look like a threat and we look like we could put them under a bit of pressure. So from our point of view, we could have started like that. But that would have been very naive against a team like Tottenham who possibly would have picked us off before our time. So we dug in and we stayed in the game. The girls seem to be getting their head around how we want to play. It's coming together now. Um, obviously, the results haven't been great. 5-0 and the 4-0 don't look good on us. But like you said, I don't think we deserve to lose 4-0 today. That was a, that was a bit harsh on us. Uh, whereas we did deserve to lose 5-0 against Portsmouth <laughs> and the rest. But um, no, today was spot on. And if we keep moving forward and we keep working on how we want to play, because it has changed six or seven times now. We, we seem to have found it. We, that's, this is what we want to do. We know how we're going to approach it. So we just got to keep going now. I mean, you've frustrated Spurs in the first half. And I think if that first half could have gone on a bit longer, you, you know, you may have nixed it. <laughs> and they may have got a few, you know, a few yellow cards and things like that. And things could have changed. But early in the second half, China's had a, had a great chance to score. And, and the keeper's made a good So If that goes in, possibly a different story? Maybe. Um, we had that against Luz, I think it was a couple of weeks back. Though. We went one up and we didn't really know what to do. And uh, we ended up sitting in and conceding two. But I think if that goes in, I think it does change the game slightly. Probably would have changed the subs we made and how we approached the last sort of 20 minutes of the game. But, yeah, the goal he's made a good save. The goal he made two or three good saves, even at sort of 2-0 and 3-0. There were some good saves in there. Um, we, were, we just need that little bit of luck now in front of goal. We're now creating things, which is the difference. Um, if I take Lou's game, for instance. We went 1-0 up, and then after that, we didn't really look like getting over the halfway line. Whereas now we've got our defensive shape right. And we know, and we can attack with it now. And we we created all through the game today. There was, we always looked like we could create something. The last four or five weeks, you guys tell me if you're wrong, but we, we, there's times where we don't look like we're a goal threat, and we just look like we're trying to get through a game. Today, I thought we looked like we had a goal threat, and it's just getting a goal now and getting over the line, and then getting, and the next one will come. But um, it will take some time. We, we feel like we we know what we're doing now, and we, we just need to build on it. Seemed, seemed like you had a, you know, the girls had a little bit more nastiness in there today. There was a few more tackles going in and there was certainly no respect for the, for the opponents, which I think is important at this level, isn't it? Yeah, and it's taken a, we played Tottenham in the FA Cup a year ago and at half time we, we crucified them for that because it, at times you play the badge, not the team you're playing against. And they're, they're a good team, but there's, there's other teams as well in our league that we come up against and you could, there is that little bit of, oh, they've got the West Ham badge or the QPR badge and we've got a little Swindon badge on. I'd like to think we're over that now and whoever we play against, we've got our game plan now and as long as we implement it, we'll be OK. I think it helps having I mean, China China coming back in there was, was a big big help. She gives us that little bit of, bit of aggro going, running around and getting into her tackles. Compliments Misha Rich very well. Um, so it's just finding that balance. But I think we're getting there now. And then looking to, to next week, we don't think you've got a game next week, do we? So um, sure we're, we're not sure what's going on next week, but... You know, how's how's the mood going to be in the camp in training? Because it is hard. It is a lot of defeats this season. Complete contrast to last season where you were winning for fun. How hard has has it been on the girls to kind of motivate themselves? You know, game to game. Um, they've been really good. I mean, even at the end there, they've come in and they're disappointed, obviously, for losing the game. But 
first thing they said was great shift girls well done all that's all we can do and we will go again next next week the reality is we don't have the the pool of players or the or the, the scope as a club to to go out and just pick and choose who we want we've got girls at the club who are all pushing in the same direction and want the same thing and as a group they've stuck together brilliantly for it uh, they they could be in turmoil at the moment they could be bickering and arguing and digging people out having a pop at me but they haven't. They've they've stuck to their task. They've got on with it. They've got their head down. They know exactly where they are now. And it probably took two or three games for them to work that out, that they weren't going to be the big fish that they have been the last couple of years. But this is what we all pushed for last year. This is where we wanted to be. We know we're not going to win every football match. It's going to be a very difficult year. But we, if we don't stick together, it becomes even harder. I mean, I've had to send one girl to development today and one girl's not made it through uh, unavailability. So I've still got a pool of sort of 70, 18 players that I can pick from. Plus our development team are now, we're starting to get a bit of a training, to, um, some habits into training where we're all working off the same hymn sheet. So when they do step in, uh, you've got people like Steph Houston who came on today up front, who offers you something. So if we keep moving that direction, we'll be fine. But yeah, it, it, they've done really well to stick through it, because it has been difficult. But they've got, I think, eight more league games after this today, I think. Um, and if they stick together all through those, whatever comes at the end of it, comes at the end of it. If, if we're at rock bottom, then that's where we deserve to be. But we've all had a good go at it. And we can hold our heads up high and say, you know what, we gave that best we could. I don't think we will be there. I think we'll, we'll pick up points where we need to pick up points. And at, at the end of the end, end of the season, we'll reassess it and see see where we are there. But no, team spirit's been good. Confident that you know they can stay up, stay up. They've certainly got the ability to do so, haven't they? It's there. It's there. Just that little bit of rub of the green we need at the moment. Something just one game to get us over the line. That'll be our turning point. I think if uh, Swansea can do it, and well, so can we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was out of game yesterday. So um, yeah, more more of that for, for you know for you girls and that. So that's that's great, Steve. You know, unlucky today, but all all the best of luck for the next game. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Thank you.